This is Care Heart, and we are going to make a jelly plate today. And in your jelly plate, might not surprise you, but you need gelatin, seven packets. Seven packets of gelatin. You need a measuring cup that is at least a cup and a half, or however you want to measure your glycerin in a cup and a half. I have a pre-measured cup and a half of my water. I have a half of half a cup of organic sugar just because I never have refined sugar in my house. I have an empty pot. In your empty pot, you add your cup and a half of water. Bring that water to a boil. Once that water reaches its boil, then you add your sugar. So I'm pouring in a cup and a half of glycerin. In your cup and a half of glycerin, what you do is you pour in your seven packets of the gelatin. Yes, I have to count out loud. <laughs> Six. Oh, if you've never played with a jelly plate, you have to do it. Uh, uh, you make the most fabulous painty paper. Some people call them serenity papers. If you've never painted before, it's one of the greatest ways to get started in art, just to go have fun. My half a cup is gonna go into this hot water. The reason I do that is because then it melts all the sugar before I add it to my glycerin. All of these items are super safe, non-toxic. So when you're touching and you're using your jelly plate, you know you're not touching something that's gonna make you sick over time. I'm starting a nonprofit foundation. It is 99.999% done in the creation. So, I came across two small containers that will make perfect jelly plate holders. You want to store the jelly plates that you have in an airtight container because it makes them last longer. And the containers I chose are Rubbermaid because it was on sale and uh, it has a great size to it says it's leak proof. I don't really need it to be all that leak proof, um, but should be good. You can see the size, 3.2 cups. So my water is just about to a boil. You can see I'm a messy cook, look at that. That's horrible, isn't it? No making fun of me. Okay, you can make fun of me, I don't care. Now in here, I stir this until my gelatin dissolves in the glycerin. You're supposed to add the boiling water to the gelatin. I'm not a big fan of putting boiling water in plastic. I mean, even though this is BPA free, what else is there that I don't know about? So I'm going to use another mixing. So I have a big mixing bowl, a ridiculously big mixing bowl. I don't need it to be this big, but I want it to be this big. So it is what it is. I'm going to put my gelatin and glycerin into my bowl. My water is about to boil, so the timing works out nicely. You never knew it was so easy to make a jelly plate. I'm not saying don't buy a jelly plate from the fabulous manufacturers of them. If you can afford and go buy those jelly plates, or if you have a hankering to just pick up a particular size or shape that they provide to you, that's awesome. We all like doing things in different ways and for different reasons. 
I like the idea of making my own just because I like making my own things. I have no arrogance. There's probably better jelly plate recipes out there. Um, there's probably, oh, there's definitely better videos out there. But this is how I make it. This is how I like it. And I don't want to forget how I made it. So might as well share it with you guys while I make these videos for myself. And bore you with watching water boil. You see, this is good enough. It's not a full on boil. We could have a sugar steam. Steam her face. <laughs> okay, let's take it off the heat. Pour the boiling water into our gelatin. Turn off the heat. And I am going to make sure I don't end up on my hot plate. And I'm gonna stir this in. You know when you were a little kid, and you were making gelatin, jello. When you were making jello when you were a little kid. And you got to stir it, and you always felt like you were doing a great job at cooking. Okay, we're still little kids. Just getting in touch with my inner child. You just want to make sure that your gelatin is thoroughly mixed in. You can see that I'm such a messy stirrer. It's getting up on the sides and such. It's probably not that big of a deal. No, it's okay. After you're done stirring, you let it cool for just a little bit. Depending on what type of thing you are pouring into. In this plastic container, I am going to split my gelatin probably 50-50 between the two plastic containers. And that's what I was going for. So this recipe you can have, or you can double, or you can change this recipe, and I will put the recipe in the little drop box below. Again, I'm being very cautious not to accidentally get my plastic on the hot spot. Normally, if I'm making it for myself and not on this camera for you guys, then I would be pouring this in the sink. gelatin plates are now in their final resting place containers and then when you use them you'll be able to take them in and out you're not going to use them while in the container so you want to let this sit for a minute but you don't want to put anything in your fridge that hot you'll mess with your fridge so I'm not going to bore you and make you watch this sit. Now that they have cooled slightly, I'm going to come back in with one of my empty gelatin packs and make sure your gelatin pack is empty. You don't want to be messing with things here. And I'm just going to use my edge to get a nice clear top. And that's okay. Move it around there. Oops, sorry, I had you off. So I'm just gonna use this to clean off the top. Okay, so this is what the jelly plate looks like before you take it out of the container. 
It doesn't come out easily. So you are going to have to work it to get it out. So touching the top, not gonna hurt anything. It's already been set in the fridge for a while. I don't wanna rip it because it's kind of thick. You're less likely to rip it. If it was super thin, you're more likely to rip it. I don't mind if my edges have a little tug here and there. That's okay, and even the bubbles on the edges don't bother me too much. And all I'm doing is I'm working it all the way around with the tip of my fingers to pull it out. Now, does it come out? Nope, that's okay. So I'm just gonna work my finger to the bottom and lift. that is your fabulous jelly plate. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.